What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to a special edition unboxing video. As you can see, this is definitely a way different view. I don't know if I like it. If I sit here, it's not as bad. I, I don't know, I was just testing out different angles. But in this video, I am gonna be showing you what I am putting in Jackson's birthday party goodie bags. Woo! I'm so excited for this. I've been like waiting to put these together for a while now. I had to wait for everything to come in the mail. So everything officially is here except for I did buy $25 <clears throat> store packs, Dollar Tree dollar store Pokemon packs, and they have not arrived yet. They're supposed to be, they were supposed to arrive today. They didn't. So I don't know if they're going to arrive tomorrow before the party. So I'm going to use some from my secret collection that I had. The reason I didn't want to use these in the first place is because they're different types. Like I have Guardians Rising and Burning Shadows and Primal Clash, but they're, I don't have enough of one type. So that's the reason why I tried to stay away from that. But yeah, I want to show you everything that I'm putting in his goodie bags and then I'm going to put them together and you can watch me do that. So I apologize for the camera angle because it's not the greatest. Sorry. The lighting, it's just not great. How about that? Now you can see my face. But now there's a bright light in my face because it's literally right here. All right, let me show you what I got to put in the goodie bags. I ordered a lot of this stuff online, either on Amazon. It was funny because some of the stuff that I got on Amazon is actually the same company that I buy stuff for work, but they sell it on Amazon. I didn't even realize until I got them. I was like, hey, Fun Express, I use that for work. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and show you what I got. So the first thing I got, now these are a bunch of reusable bags. They had some smaller versions, but I knew I wouldn't be able to fit everything. So I thought it'd be kind of cool instead of just doing like the plastic bags to do like you know, a reusable bag. They're super cheap, they're nothing crazy, but kids like to hold their stuff in bags, and I thought these were pretty cool. And they're gonna be perfect size. They will be a little bit big for all the stuff that I got, but they'll be good. Um, this is a pack of 26. According to Chris, which is Jackson's mom, they have about 25 kids coming. So I basically, in my mind, I bought enough for 25 kids. Some of the stuff has extra, some of them I only have 25. Um, so hopefully only 25 kids show up, because that's what it's gonna be like. So I got 26 of these, so I'm gonna use those to pack the stuff. I got this pack of glow-in-the-dark, supercharge hit, bouncy balls. I bet you this is gonna super glow now. Okay or not. Anyways, these are bouncy balls with smiley faces. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, the, the party is Ninjago themed, but I know he likes Pokemon, so I bought a mixture of like ninja-ish things, and then I bought a mixture of Pokemon things, and then some other random things, but I couldn't find any good bouncy balls that were Pokemon or Ninjago related, so I just got glow-in-the-dark smiley face ones because you can never have too many glow-in-the-dark smiley face bouncy balls. That's a true story. They probably don't bounce the best, Oh no, they bounce pretty good. They bounce pretty good. That's not bad. It's weird having the camera right here. I don't know if I like it, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't know if I like this. This light's like in my face. I don't like the light in my face. Okay. Oh, hey, that's not bad. There's not much light coming from here, but you'll deal. Okay, so that's the first thing. I got this pack of fidget spinners. I know fidget spinners are pretty much obsolete. I just realized that there's 24 fidget spinners. 24. Oh great, I'm gonna be one short. Uh, that's disappointing. But these are little plastic fidget spinners, but they're kind of like ninja stars. So I thought that was unique. I actually opened one yesterday to test it out, and it's not too bad. Let me see if I can open this one up. I would give you the pricing for all this stuff, but to be honest, I don't really know, and I actually don't really want to tell you guys, because I definitely bought too much stuff, and it was too expensive for some of this stuff. Okay, so... These actually spin pretty good for plastic ones. They have pretty good ball bearings. These aren't going to be the greatest fidget spinners, but they're cool to fit the theme and then just the look, you know, because it's different. But I know fidget spinners are kind of out right now, so they're not really like a hot commodity, but I still thought they were cool. They're cool to me. So I got 24 of those. I just realized that's not gonna be enough, so we'll see. I'll have to keep track. Maybe I'll have like one extra bag and that'll be the one that doesn't have everything. I got these, they smell terrible. You can smell these, oh my God. You could smell them through the bag. I'm gonna gag, I'm gonna gag. So these are mini, like, I think these are stocking stuffer ones, but I got them for the for the gift bags. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't. This is the one smell I cannot handle. Um, so there's 15 in each one of these. So I got two, so that I would have enough for the beauty bag. I can't, I can't. Next I got these, I thought these were cool. These were a late ad, I forget, these were pretty cheap. I don't remember how much I paid, but I remember them being pretty cheap. 
These are not licensed, but basically it's a full bag full of Pokemon stickers. There's so many stickers in here. And these are actually, these are vinyl stickers and they are good quality stickers. Again, not licensed, but like, they're still really cool and I can put multiple in each bag because there's so many. Like this thing came with so many stickers. That's not even it. There's like still a whole bunch more. Look at all these stickers. Look at all these. I should probably give you guys the pricing, huh? Because that would be helpful if you guys want to buy any of this stuff. And I figured if I had extra stuff, I could just put some of the stuff in my prize box at work. So it's kind of a win-win situation, you know? Okay, let me see if I can give you some quick pricing for some of these things. So the stickers, these were $15 for 150 But these, like I said, these are really good, really good quality stickers, and there's a ton of them in here. So I was okay paying that. That is a little bit pricey, though, now that I'm, like, looking at it. I'm like, hmm, that's kind of expensive. The little fidget spinners... So a set of 24 of them, those were $10.99, not too bad. The bouncy balls, which was a, is a pack of a lot, and way more than I need. $10 for a pack of 50. So I got double the amount they needed for $10 though. And then the next item that I got, oh, I forgot to do the Play-Doh, sorry. The bags were, I think they were kind of expensive, $15 for the for 26 of them. So that's not too bad. That's about about 50 cents each, a little bit more than 50 cents. It's not bad. Um, because if you buy like actual goodie bags, they're pretty expensive and they don't hold a lot. And then the other thing that I showed you is the Play-Doh. The Play-Doh I think was fairly expensive because it's Play-Doh. But for each pack, those ones cost, oh, $5. That's not bad at all, $5 for 15. So that's like, I don't know how much that is per person, thing, but it's, it's not that much. Okay, so the next thing that I got are these. Now these are the ones that I was a little bit hesitant about and I'll show you why I got these. These are little, uh, basically little Pokemon figures. I've received some of these in my boxes. These are like gacha ponds, right? They don't smell great, they're a little vinyl. Each bag comes with 24. Um, these were, how many totals did I get? So it's $20 for 144 pieces. Now the one thing are, these are a little bit cheap because I'm sure they came from somewhere. And that I heard that by reading their views that the colors were a little bit off. So let's see if I can look at these. Now these are not the best quality things. Like they're not like the greatest things in the world, but they're not terrible, you know? Like, look, Pikachu's cute. Look at Pikachu. There he is. There's Pikachu. Yeah, so they're just like little, they're just like little figures, right? And the reason I got these, I'll show you in a second. One, I thought they were cool, and even though I did read that the paint colors were a little bit off, they don't seem that off. I don't think anyone's really gonna care. I thought these would be fun for the kids. Jackson's turning seven, so he's probably gonna have a lot of seven-year-olds at his party, and I thought these were kind of fun. Like, you can use these, you know, to play. So the reason I got all of those is because the next item I got are these. So I got three packs of these. And what these are, are little Pokeballs. And I like had this envision in my mind and I just like wouldn't stop looking until I found what I wanted. These are not the most high quality things, but they're almost like little like plastic eggs like that you get for egg hunts in, in Easter, but they're Pokeballs and you press the middle and it actually will shoot up. So it releases the, the lever and it shoots up. There's a spring in there. Again, not the most high quality item, but I thought it was really cool, and so I got a bunch of these, because each one came with nine, I believe, so I bought three of them, so I would have enough. Do I have enough? Yes, I have a couple extra. And let me tell you how much these cost. And the cool thing about these, hopefully they all like work. I'm gonna take them out of the package, because what I wanna do is fill them with the Pokemon. That's why I bought the little Pokemon, so I'm gonna put a bunch of them in this ball. So these were 10.50. Actually, I don't even know if they were 10.50, because now they are, no longer available on Prime. I got these Prime on Prime, so I got a pretty good deal, but it says 10.50 for nine of these. So these were a little bit more expensive, but I was willing to do that because I really liked it. Let me show you all the designs. I'm pretty sure between each nine pack, they're the same designs, but I, was, I thought it was really cool that they just had different designs. So you have like, you have like the regular one. I don't even know all the different ones. You have this one that has the yellow circle on top. You've got this cool like green one. You've got the, is this the master ball? No. The, is this a great ball? The blue one? You got this crazy looking one that has like black on it. You got this one that looks, oh, is this the master ball? This one's purple. And then you got some, you got yellow one and a yellow and black one. And then you got the pink one with a heart. So uh, I'm sure the, 
kids will love the pink one with the heart. But these are all individually wrapped. I'm gonna unwrap them, like I said, and fill them with Pokemon. I might wrap them back afterwards, but I think I might leave them out because I think it'd be fun. Let me quickly open this one to see if they're the same. Yeah, so we got the same design in each of these. So I got three of those, 10 bucks each. Okay, next I got this. I bought these for work one time for one of our events and the kids absolutely loved them. So I thought I would purchase them again because I feel like emoji emojis are like still cool. You know, like they're not, they're not a fad or anything. They did come out with the emoji movie, but I thought these were cool. This was $23 for a pack of 49. So I figured whatever I don't put in the goodie bags, I'll bring to work and put that in the prize box because my kids at work love these things. Like these went like hot cakes during our special event. So that was really cool. Next, I got these erasers. These are like Ninja Star erasers. They're just rubber. They're not like dangerous or anything. But I thought to, to, to try to fit the theme of Ninjago, I got these um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully the kids like them. You never can have too many erasers, right? I think that's a, a true story. Uh, that cost about, I guess, $6-ish. Don't really know. Six sixty four. dollars The next item I got are sticky hands. 72 count for $8. I love sticky hands, and I really want to make sure I put sticky hands. Like I want to have some of the normal goodie bag stuff that you have in goodie bags, but then also have some of the cool stuff. And then the last thing I got, which it was, okay, I thought that it was my fault. I didn't read the description very well, so I was a little bit disappointed in myself. I thought this was a pack of squishies, like, you know, my cake squishy that I absolutely love. But then after I ordered them and they arrived, I found out that they're not cake squishies. They're called, they were called, let me just tell you what they were called. They were called 20 piece squishy toy. I paid $12 for each pack for 20 of these, so I would have 40. But then when I actually like open them, these aren't squishy. They're like, they're like goopy. Like what, kind of like what sticky hands are made of, but not sticky. So they're like squishy animals, but they're like, I don't know. They kind of stick to things. They're probably one of those things that when you drop them, they're gonna get real dirty. That was an accident. I didn't mean, I thought they were gonna be squishy. I thought they were gonna be like memory from squishy. So I did not read the description well enough. These are like little animals. Like, I don't know if they're gonna like them, but there's like a cat and like <laughs> bunnies and stuff. I think I might just put them in the bags anyways, just for fun, because I think it'd be funny. And then the rest of these I'll bring to work. I don't know if the kids are gonna like these. I've never seen these before. I've never seen anyone play with these. So that was my bad. And then there's one more thing. Where's the last thing? The last thing that I got, I got from eBay. Well, other than the cards that I'm still waiting for. The last thing I got is from eBay. And I got these for about $2 each, which is why I bought them, because I thought that was a great deal. But I got a bunch of these Lego Ninjago mystery figures. I, I searched around, like I really searched around really hard to try to find the best deal. And these came out to be a little bit over $2 each, which is really good because at the store these are $3.99. So I wanted to make sure that I did something real Ninjago because it's a Ninjago theme party. So yeah, so there's those and there's a whole bunch of them. And then the last things that I'm gonna put in there, uh, there's two more things. So. So online I also bought a box of these. I get these at work all the time and the kids love them. So I bought a box online for uh, Jackson's goodie bags because I figured, I mean, I figured those kids would love them too. It's not slime, but it's kind of like slime. It's like putty slime. It's a mixture. It's really, it's called noise putty. So you're supposed to like, it makes farting noises if you push the putty in. So I got those. Those are pretty cheap. I think those were only like, the box was pretty cheap. I don't know how much they cost though. And then the last thing I, I did was I actually brought all my Pokemon cards that I had brought to work at one point, um, the ones that I used for the giveaway. I brought these home, and what I wanted to do is because I know the kids like Pokemon cards, but I really only got these dollar store packs that only come with three cards. I wanted to put together my own packs with my other cards. So each of these boxes has, some of them have more cards than others, and a lot of them have like, these are just common cards that I've unboxed in my videos. So I'm gonna put my own packs together and I think in a couple of the packs, I'm gonna add like, I think this box has it. The last time I did an unboxing video, I had pulled a couple of like, of a, like some EX cards and whatnot, like a break card. So I think what I'm gonna do is, don't look at my code card. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is put my own packs together with these card sleeves and then in a few of them put like good cards and then I'll just randomly scatter them in the bags. So I thought that'd be kind of a cool like addition to the Dollar Tree pack since in the Dollar Tree packs they're probably not gonna get a whole lot of cards, right? Like good cards. I mean maybe one or two kids might get good cards but most likely most of them are just gonna get basic cards. Okay, so that's everything that's going in the goodie bags. 
Maybe what I'll do is put one together on video and that way you can see and then we'll see what it looks like and then I'll put the rest together after I'm done filming. So we're gonna use this red bag first. Hopefully I remember everything that's gonna go in it. So what are the first things? Well, first thing we're gonna put is a Ninjago. I'm gonna have to do an assembly on but we're gonna put a Ninjago mystery figure. We're gonna put one of these random animal squishies. We're gonna put a pack of noise putty. I'm gonna do an emoji keychain. This one's gonna get uh, the one that's like sweating or crying, I don't know. Let's do, we'll do two sticky hands. How many came in this? 72, yeah, so we'll do two sticky hands. I love assembly line things. I'm excited to stop filming so I can like set up the assembly line and just make it like legit. I love putting things together. We're gonna do one Ninja Star Eraser. We're gonna open up this one Pokeball. Now I have 144 Pokemon. I need to make 25 goodie bags. So what, I could put about five, five Pokemon in each one, right? Yeah and have a little bit left over. So I'm gonna put five, I'll try to not put doubles. I'm gonna put five Pokemon in my Pokeball. So you, you know what sucks is that I feel like a Pokeball is supposed to open like this, but when you press it, cause the button's connected to the top, it, it's harder to pop open. It pops open better like this, but that's obviously the bottom. Anyways, I put my five Pokemon in there. We're gonna close that up. We need a Ninja Star Fidget Spinner, Glow in the Dark Bouncy Ball. Oh, stickers. So these are 150. So I could use all of them, but I think what I'm gonna do is just put, what, four in each one? That way I have some extra ones. Actually, you know what, let's just do three. Oh my gosh, this is, look at how sad this Pikachu is. Look, he's so sad. So we'll do three for right now, I might add more. And then we need to do our Play-Doh. Oh my god. <coughs> you guys, Josh should better love me for this because this is terrible. This is terrible. I can't. Okay. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. I can't. It's so strong. Uh, uh, okay. Oh my god. That's awful. You guys, that's awful. Okay. We're going to put a pack of the Dollar Tree cards. I'm going to do Primal Clash in this one. And then we got to put together some Pokemon cards. So. I don't actually know how I'm gonna do this. Actually, I'm not even gonna do this now because I'm gonna do that last. So I'm gonna put those together and I'm gonna continue filling up all these bags until all the bags are full and then I'll probably put these packs together and drop them in randomly and then I'll show you guys where I'm at. I definitely just realized that I could have gotten the way smaller bags because the stuff that I bought is all like little stuff so it doesn't actually like, but that's okay, right? They can put other stuff in the bag, right? All right guys, I filled up all the bags. They're right there. There's 26 bags, although there's a lot of toys that are only at 24. So there's two extra bags that are missing a couple things. My bad. I'm actually gonna start putting together my packs right now. So I'm gonna lay them out on the table and have 26 different packs. So we'll start off with some energies and then we're just gonna place some cards on top. I don't know how many cards can fit in the sleeves, so should probably test that out first, huh? Super exciting. All right, guys, I made all my packs. Homemade packs. I made 52 of these bad boys, and I'm going to fill the rest of the bags, and then we're done. Yes! So I just wanted to show you the aftermath of everything, because I kind of put everything away before I even thought about it. I finished filling up all of the bags. They're all kind of shoved in here, and we have everything packed away, including the two homemade packs that I made. So each bag got two homemade packs, stickers, you know, all the fun stuff. And then these are all the extra things, just in case there's like siblings or if I missed something when I was bagging things. And then the two white bags are the things that don't have, I think it's the fidget spinners and the erasers. But that was all. I wanted to try that video out because I love putting goodie bags together, guys. It's like one of my favorite things. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And now I'm too lazy to put my camera back on my tripod, so I'm just going to hold it like this. Uh, if you guys like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this video. And are you guys fans of goodie bags? And do you ever put goodie bags together? What would you put in your dream goodie bag? What would be in it? So let me know all that fun stuff down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I don't know how people vlog while holding their DSLRs. This thing is so heavy. Like my arm is already starting to cramp up. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't hold it. Ow, 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 ow. Look, my butt chin. Here it is.
There it is, butt chin. All right, today's video shout out is gonna go to, I'm gonna give it to Jeanette Neff. Jeanette Neff, you're gonna get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much for the support, I appreciate it. You get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Jeanette. Shout out to you. All right guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.